Hey everybody, John Fanta checking in from world famous Friar Cuts. Yes, at the Ruane Friar Development Center here at Providence College, they've got their own barber shop. And there's a new cut here in Friartown. It's the Kim English Way that has struck here with the Friars. He is 35 years young, the youngest power conference head coach in college basketball. What does that mean? A fresh energy, a new vibe. He relates to his players, and he was able to retain key pieces on this Friars roster. Let's start with the Big East Player of the Year candidate in Bryce Hopkins. In talking with Hopkins, the junior who transferred in from Kentucky last year, he said he's never felt better about his jumper. If Hopkins is able to hit perimeter shots consistently, watch out. He could be a guy that comes up on the All-American radar because you're talking about someone who can average 15 to 18 points per game, 7, 8 rebounds per game. He's just a beast. The Friars have to play through him. Devin Carter. That's my next takeaway from the day in Providence because Carter will be relied upon to be the Swiss Army knife again for Providence like he was last year. Kim English said that Carter is as hard a worker as he's ever been around. Those genes transfer and translate well from his dad, Anthony. Devin, well taught, and he has formed such a strong role with this Friar squad and program. He fits the mold of Providence. The player that I'm really intrigued by is the freshman. Could very well be a one and done. That's how talented he is. Garway Duel. When Kim English got the job here at Providence, his first duty was hopping on a plane and going west to make sure that Garway Duel would stay committed to Providence College. He got Duel, and what he has is a crafty guard, a playmaker. Josh Oduro, the big man for the Friars, said that the ball is on a string when Garway Duel has it. He makes it easy, and he's beyond his years. He has the tools to be a really impactful freshman in the Big East. The big focus for this Providence team, spacing, being able to exploit defenses with that spacing. Josh Oduro, the big man, the transfer from George Mason, is a player that I think is going to be very important to determine what the Friar ceiling ends up being. And that's because Providence is counting on him to be the five man. Yes, they have Rafael Castro behind him, but they really need Oduro to transfer from George Mason and be able to carry the production into the Big East and handle the big men in this conference. Providence has guard options. Jaden Pierre, Corey Floyd. People forget Devin Carter can play some point guard. So they've got the options on the perimeter. They've got the superstar player in Hopkins. If Oduro holds up inside, this Providence team is top 25 level strong and an NCAA tournament team. One thing is for certain. Kim English takes over this job and injects a really fresh mindset into this program. And the Friars... They're going to continue to be a factor in Big East basketball.